According to reports, Nigeria's population grew by 2.6 percent between 2015 and 2020. The country's fertility rate was put at 5.2 children per woman, making it the seventh most fertile nation on earth. In a bid to intensify advocacy on the need for family planning, the River State Media Practitioners for Family Planning had organized a roundtable discussion with relevant stakeholders to address factors mitigating family planning. They are seeking commitment for sustained service in consumables and commodities. This is a media roundtable on reproductive health and family life planning for adolescents and youth in River State. The State Commissioner for Health, Professor Prince Will Chike, discloses that family planning services protect social development, especially in adolescent age. Professor Chike, who is represented by the Director of Public Health and Disease Control, Golden Owunda, stresses that sexually active adolescents should embrace family planning. Family planning also takes into consideration fertility. It also enables you to be fertile at the time that you want to be and not be fertile at the time you don't want to be. So you see, when you offer this kind of services to everybody, it destigmatizes it. It takes away the mythologies and the conspiracy theories that people have because you're offering to them what they really need in their reproductive life. So for a young adolescent, this is an opportunity. This is a service that the government and the people provides for. The State Family Planning Coordinator, Dr. Doris Igbanibo, assures residents of continuous sustainability of the program and engagement of stakeholders in the communities of effective awareness. Other stakeholders share their views on the need for more advocacy on family planning. A lot has been done on demand generation and uh, we're far, far better than where we, we, we were some time back. And um, um, I believe that we, as states, uh, as a state, whatever we, we've achieved so far, it's not something we're going to draw back on. We need to also be specific in terms of access. When we talk about access for family planning and contraceptive for young people and adolescents, we need to ask ourselves what does access mean to them? Because when we say access, access, there is cost implication in access because services can be available here, but when they don't have money to fund that, they cannot obtain it. Um, show the first line of action for young people, which is to preach abstinence. We, we really can bypass that. Now, when you have emphasized um, the importance of abstinence, you might want to drip it down to what we call life planning for adolescents and youths. Family planning as a way of life was instituted by the Holy Quran more than 1,440 years ago. As a matter of fact, first line introduction of uh, family planning is that if you cannot afford a wife, the Quran says you can abstain. You can abstain from having illegal sexual relationship with a female. The theme for the program is sustained family planning, financing for women of reproductive age and young persons service uptake, consumables, commodities and demand creation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.